Hi, I'm Dad. And I'm Jack from DadandJackOutdoors.com. We here are a father-son team who love to hunt, fish, and camp in the great outdoors. And today we're going to show you how to build a gun rack using your deer hooves. So what do we got for hooves today? We have the front hooves of my very first mule deer that I shot with my muzzleloader in September near the Great Basin National Park area. Awesome. And what we've done to, so far is we took the hooves and we just wedged them against a wall in the garage and we put a, actually used a boat battery to hold it in place and we let them dry. And you can see now that they're just rock solid. I can't move that at all. So they're dry as a bone, they're solid, and they're in the position that you need them to be for a gun rack. Then what we did was we dug out some of the marrow from in the bone, from where we've cut off the bone, and we filled that with glue. We used liquid nails, but you can use pretty much anything. And to prep the, the board or the wood, we just used regular one by lumber. This is a one by six. We cut it down to size. And then to put a little decorative edge on it, we used a Dremel tool and we put the sanding attachment on and we sanded down the edge just in you know, odd formations to kind of make that country western outdoorsy look. And later we're going to stain the board uh, with, a, with a combination of stain and polyurethane so it'll have a little bit of shine to it because um, Jack decided he wanted a darker color to the wood. But you can leave it natural as well. And you can see we've already got screws in the wood. We, we pre-drilled the holes and we have, we're using two and a half inch drywall screws. And we've already got those in place. So now all we're going to do is screw the hose onto the board. So Jack's going to hold them. First one. Oop, turn it the other way. We'll have a lopsided gun rack. Push. Good. All right, and that's it. You can see it's it's done. Other than the, we're going to go back and stain it, as I said, and you can mount it to the wall either by screwing through the front of the board, or you can put a bracket on the back that you can hang on a nail or whatever. Um, but that's it. You can use it to hang a gun, a fishing rod, or coats on it. If you've got multiple hooves, maybe you're in a place where you can get more than one deer a year, you could have a longer board and have uh, four on here, and you could do it as a coat rack or, again, a double gun rack. You could do it top and bottom and so forth. But it's really that simple. There's not much to it, and you can do it right at home. Yeah, that's it this time. Thanks for watching, and... And join us on Facebook. Visit us on dadjackoutdoors.com, and follow us on Twitter.